Well, hey, this is Andy from the Timeless Travel Club, and I post videos hardly ever anymore. <laughs> I'm now retired here in wacky California, but, um, you know, subscribe if you want or not. It's not like YouTube puts my videos out there anyway. And, uh, you know, I used to be angry about it, but I'm bitter now. Better now. But I do have a 6 a.m. flight booked for tomorrow morning. I'm leaving to Puerto Vallarta, and I haven't even packed yet. So you guys sit back, watch a little bit of randomness, and uh, I'm gonna go start packing. All right. Hey folks, how's everybody doing? It's been a long time since we last chatted. I am uh, enjoying the life of uh, retirement, but I did want to check in and, and tell you all that I am going to Mexico again very soon. I'm going to uh, Puerto Vallarta to get some dental work done. I'm also going to Sayulita. I'm going to take that. I'm going to check out the, off that bucket list item of taking a surf lesson. So I'm looking forward to that. But some of you have been chiming in. I appreciate that. You're concerned about me, I guess. You're asking how I'm spending my time. And it's been, um, I don't know, I've just been working the yard a lot. I have been enjoying uh, my music. And you can see I've got a music collection back there. My favorites for my age group, I guess, is uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s music. The music these days, I just can't hang my hat on. I have been watching some YouTube um, music reactors, and there's a couple of them that you should check out. There's um, Andy and Alex. These two guys are young men. They are college students. They also play in a band, but uh, they have a great critique on our music, it, which is I'm rediscovering, you know, back in the day when I used to listen to these vinyl albums a lot, it was just with the speakers blaring. I never used headphones. Now I am rediscovering the quality of and musicianship of these groups that I used to love. And it's it's been a great ride. Andy and Alex does a great job in breaking down um, every instrument, every nook and cranny, every thought process the musician might have gone through. You got to check them out on YouTube. And uh, Lex and what is, uh, there's another, here, I jotted it down here. Brad and Lex, they are another married couple. They take a different angle though. They they try to dissect what the meaning was of the songs. And Lex is a throwback. She should have been born in our in my era because she is quite a jewel you will enjoy her uh, the most if you check them out with regards to travel channels i still f follow my friends tangerine travels even though they've split up they still put out quality videos um so i look forward to every saturday morning i think uh the kinetic kennens i still watch I met them in Puerto Vallarta a couple years ago, and uh, they have a quality work as well. There's another group. I would like you all, please, check this this couple out. Um, Eat Baila Travel. Eat Baila Travel. Jenny and Kevin, they're, they're new. They're up-and-comers. They have a unique spin. They're kind of all over the board, uh, admittedly. They take you around Mexico and they show you the different types of food that you can encounter. Baila, they're both dancers. So currently they're in Oaxaca, I believe, and they are teaching salsa dancing. They also look into their heritage. So I think um, Kevin is from Veracruz. Could be wrong. And Jenny is from Zacatecas. So uh, if you watch my videos, you know that I've done the same thing. I have a craving. I'm not a genealogist, but I am a genealogy nut. So if you also like uh, to research family history, check them out. They are, they've are they got probably more than 5,000 followers. They should have a lot more. So if you've subscribed to me, the Timeless Travel Club, please check them out and, and uh, subscribe to them. They really could use your help. Otherwise, um, yeah, I joined a mini movement here in my hometown. Um, it, they're called the Yacht Club, and their prime, their prime objective is to clean the city. So last weekend, 
and the weekend before that, we have a, a creek that runs right in the middle of town. It's a very important creek for the city. It's called Bear Creek. And I tell you what, you hear about, I'm in California, you all know that. And you hear about San Francisco and LA with their homeless situation. We have the same thing in our little town. I say little town. Uh, we have, a, I think, over 120,000 uh, in population now, but we have a homeless problem. And they like to camp out in this creek because it's lined with bamboo. That's their shelter. They just cover their little tents or hibachis and whatever. And uh, it's been quite a mess. Now, next month, the creek is dry right now. Next month, they are going to let the water flow and all of the, the debris is going to go out to uh, the next town uh, to eventually the uh, ocean with Sacramento in between. So we went out and cleaned the place up. It was, uh, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a great exercise, but um, I felt good about uh, taking part in that cleanup crew. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. So the last time I was in Acapulco, check out my last video, you, um, I didn't show you the, the hotel that I stayed in. I stayed in Las Brisas, which is a very famous, old, classic hotel uh, that uh, all the stars visited in Acapulco. And I'm gonna give you a little review on uh, my stay there. I, originally, I was in the Fiesta Americana, but if you recall, they had the air earthquake, the 7.1, of, of 7.1 magnitude so um, I had to cancel that booking and when I came back just a couple days later it was no longer available at uh, the Fiesta so I thought well what the heck since I've been going to Acapulco for so many, so many years and never gave Las Brisas a try so here you go my review good and bad of uh, Las Brisas in Acapulco check it out so Las Brisas may not seem very fancy or very modern, but that's its charm. It hasn't changed since the 1960s. And while most of the casitas have private pools, mine did not. Adding to the charm of Las Brisas are the views, the views, the views. One of my favorite aspects about Las Brisas is this little window that's nearby the front door, where every morning you wake up and there are surprises waiting for you without fail. Sometimes a bottle of wine, a plate of fruit, a plate of dulces, postres, and a pot of hot coffee. My good friends in Acapulco, Chencho and Javier, they used to work at Las Brisas for 30 plus years. So they know the entire staff, which of course allows me to be treated like a king wherever I went. Now I wasn't much bothered by not having a private pool because they have this place on their property called La Concha. I mean, just look at this place. So relaxing, so beautiful, and the staff, they're all so friendly. The prices, as you can imagine, are a little, a little high, and the only thing you have to worry about are the sharks. So yeah, Las Brisas, everybody. If, you, if you're ever in Acapulco, you've got to check out Las Brisas. For me, I'm going to be a one and done because we, I had a dispute of over $325 that was not only refunded, but they couldn't even explain it. So that's going to be it for me there. But to, tomorrow, it's going to be Puerto Vallarta again. And looking forward to that. Uh, yes, yet to have started packing. So I guess I should get started on that. So that's going to be it for today's video, folks. Hope you're all doing good out there, and we will catch up to you soon. All right? Ciao, baby.